Mr. Five. This is Frank Shedd. And uh, we have with us today a vigorously noisy duo who call themselves Smoke and Coke. Welcome, lads. Hi. This is Owen. This Hi. is Daryl. What do you play, lads? Who plays what? I'm the guitarist and singer, and Daryl's drummer. Yeah. Okay. And uh, and which one of you is Smoke and which one of you is Coke? I'm Smoke, that's Coke. But we don't do drugs, so it's just... Uh, I was thinking it sounds like a Whitney and I personality type, but, uh, but what, what's the story behind it? So, um, just one day I had a can of coke in one hand and a cigarette in the other, and I just said to that, turn to Daryl, this is the best thing in the world of smoking coke. She said to me, that's a band name, and unfortunately it's stuck. But we wanted, we wanted different names. I wanted to be the sexual intellectuals. <laughs> but, I was thinking about the spunky monkeys for us, but it didn't really work out after that. No, but the problem with the sexual intellectuals is we weren't we're not, we're not intellectual enough to know how to spell it. So, <laughs> <laughs> all right. So, well, uh, the, okay, smoking coke. So I came from loving uh, cigarettes and coke. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. Okay, so yeah. Much more innocent than I thought it was going to be. Anyway, so as you're, you're totally different than everything else around. So uh, I'm really glad you came in uh, for that reason. Anyway. Thanks. So um, to kick it all off, what have you got for us? What's your first song? First song is Ash and Sweat. Tell us anything about that. Ash and Sweat. Self-explanatory, is it? <laughs> Smoke and sweat and rocking out. All of them. Ash and Sweat. Um, it, but basically, it started off, all our songs go the same way in the writing process. I get a guitar riff, Daryl puts a drum bit to it and just add vocals. That's just our formula, we just stick to it. So. It started off us jamming first, didn't it? Yeah. That, that was it, and we just worked on from there. Yeah. Same with everything. Formally, yeah. Yeah. Ooh. Well, um, rock the fuck out. <laughs>
And uh, your second song is going to be? Horizon. And uh, have you got any lyrical story behind that? Or Again, no. Going to no, no. It's, it's, well, I, it's a purely primal we thing. You're, we, you're, we, you're don't, we don't really remember actually writing the lyrics. We have a, we have a little special songbook, but we don't remember writing the lyrics half the time. But, so we just record it and that's it. Just like remember sporadic words out of whatever you've written down. <laughs> yeah. It's, usually it's the same formula. Cool. Just don't remember it. <laughs> cool. Well, um, Horizon, go murder your face off a wall. kind of abrasive approach to rock and roll so like would that be a help or a hindrance to getting gigs would you say with it getting gigs nothing but a hindrance oh, no, really, nobody yeah. wants us no we're, we're too heavy for for around here yeah yeah I mean, I'd well understand that already now. yeah i mean a sugar club up in dublin that that'd be the kind of place the kind of places like up there but even cork cork leash isn't very rock friendly yeah but you, you haven't had a chance to, to play your wares around here all the same though, haven't you We've been trying to write, well, we've, we've we did played a few battle the bands and we've stuff. We played a yeah. few places around here, but ever. Like Sky, we had a gig at Sky Venue, which what? didn't go too well. Oh, was, we, we had a battle of the bands at the Lanies, which was that, that was, was brilliant. that was a brilliant one. That was our first gig. That, yeah, first gig is a. I got you in the door, so that's a good place to do it, in fairness. Yeah, no, Delaney's now I think would be the, the main place that would be have, having us. Yeah. And um, are you are you long time friends or did did you come to me it's through the common love been, of music? Or? It's been about a year now. Less, yeah, about yes. a year actually. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So it was the common love of um, a certain style of music. Yeah. Yeah. It just I just said I looked at him one look and I just said that's a drummer. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> it's look it just, it. I was wearing a leather jacket. And he walked up to me. You're a drummer, aren't you? Yep. They they beat things. You, you like that? You like metal music, don't you? Yep. Back to my house. <laughs> Not in that way. <laughs> that's, what we, that's what we wanted to say anyway. Yeah. And the band was born. All right, uh, so tell me, are bass players utterly redundant? Completely. We've agreed no yeah. bass players at all. We, we tried a few, it didn't work. Yeah. Not at all. We, 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 bass players, we've just found, me and Daryl have a great dynamic going, and apart from that, Daryl, well, bass players, why don't you like bass players? Assholes. And they can't, and they can't keep up with you. <laughs> yeah, no, but apart from that, it just ends up with the two piece band. It's the tightness of it. <laughs> Did you hear about the bass player who was so depressed about his lack of timekeeping? He threw himself behind the train. <laughs> what, what, what you throw at a drowning bassist? His amp. <laughs> 
Oh, my best pair of friends are going to love this. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they're going to love us. <laughs> But uh, but like you don't seem to need a bass player. You, you, like you know, if if you have the right amp and the right settings, you know, you, you can you can make an amazing wall of sound. What you have, and you seem to you seem to have your sound down. You seem to have a wall of sound for just two people. So I think you know, I think you're doing damn well. Yeah, it comes into Daryl comes from more metal music, and yeah. I'd, so he'd be more Slipknot, and I'd be more Divines, the Subways. Right. But then just throw the two together, you end up with a metal drummer and a heavy rock guitarist, <laughs> and you just make noise. But then we saw we just saw about what other two piece bands are doing. Death from Above, nineteen seventy nine, Blood Red Shoes. Just saw it worked. We did it. Excellent. Yeah, I was just going to ask you about influences. So, like, any any particular bands that would influence this current band? Like, I I hear everything from Lightning Ball to Mud Honey in your sound. Like, but what would you think? Well, my influence is probably Dave Grohl is my favorite drummer. So I just copy, try to copy everything. <laughs> he can do. And miserably. Yeah, and then I just. Work on from George Orson, then that was it. Uh, and then I'd be, um, it originally started out with actually 1960s blues rock, Peter Green, um, the original Fleetwood Mac, then Eric Clapton. And then a bit more modern music came in, sort of team came into my mind, went in with Blood Red Shoes, the vines as always, as I said before. And then apart from that, I try to keep, try to keep myself first. I like, you've got to keep an open mind. So. Absolutely, yeah. So from blues to jazz, reggae, Heavy rock. And Daryl's introduced me to metal now. Both of you from different backgrounds, you come together and you clash and you create something new that neither of you would have kind of normally hit upon maybe at the start. But, yeah, that's cool. Yeah. And um, have you got any um, gigs or recordings coming up that we should know about? Uh, at the minute, it's all ba- it's all recording the first album. Mm-hmm. So we're going to be doing that soon. and So hopefully that should be ready February, March. And finally we have... We've got help now. Which is the, the, sm- the slow emotional song that all the bitches go crazy for. Oh, all right, okay. Yeah. Got to please the bitches. Got to please the bitches. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, uh, any story behind it? Just you want to please the bitches? Yeah. Well, no, we go this, this, this is our serious song, though. It's about a, bit, uh, a friend of mine, like uh, several friends had anorexia and everything. So it's just from seeing all of them together, it's just kind of just like, Jesus. And I ended up from that. Mm. Uh, so, how about you, gentlemen? Yourself. 
two muffins in an oven. One says to the other, Jesus, it's like an oven in here. The other one says, oh, Jesus, it's a talking muffin. <laughs> <laughs> Lala <laughs> <laughs> Cost. Lala Cost. Uh, right, I think we're going to have to leave it at that, lads. So, Daryl. Thank you. Good to meet you. Owen. Good to meet you. Keep doing what you're doing. And uh, it's a goodbye from everyone here at Frank Shed. Take care. <laughs>